Listen up. I'm about to save you years of wasted time because today we are talking about one of the most important decisions in your robotics career. I get this question all the time. Automatic Addison, what's the best programming language for robotics? And you know what I see? People out here getting lost, debating every new language, chasing trends, trying to learn 10 different things at once, like that's going to make them an expert. Stop it right now. Let me tell you something right now. If you're serious about robotics, if you actually want to make money, if you actually want to build something that works, there are only three programming languages that matter. Python, C++, and C. That's it. That's the list. Everything else, a distraction, weakness, time-wasting garbage. You master these three, you print money, you get hired, you become a robotics god. You'll be ready for any robotics job, any industry, any challenge. Ignore them, you stay broke watching other people win. So let's break it down. Python is the king of robotics software. If you're getting into robotics, Python is non-negotiable. You want AI, machine learning, computer vision? That's Python. You're working with ROS2, the most widely used robotics framework, heavy Python integration. You need to prototype quickly, run simulations, automate systems, Python. Python is the brain of modern robotics. It's easy to learn, has a massive number of libraries, and is used across AI-powered robotics, automation, and research. But Automatic Addison, Python is slow. But, and this is a big but, Python is not real time. Yes, Python is not real time. Python will not control your robot in milliseconds. Python is the boss sitting in the penthouse making all the decisions. C++ is a soldier in the trenches making it happen. C++ is the engine that makes robots move. Listen to me right now. C++ is the backbone of serious robotics development, period. Python is great for AI, but when it comes to real-time control, high-speed motion planning, and getting a robot to react instantly, C++ is the undisputed champion. Are you working with ROS2? It's built on C++. Do you need sensor data processing at lightning speed? C++. You're developing robotic arms, drones, self-driving cars? C++. Python might be easy to use, but in robotics, speed matters. Precision matters. Real-time execution matters. And when milliseconds count, you don't have time for Python's slow execution. You need C++. If Python is the brain, then C++ is the muscle. If you ignore C++, you're already falling behind. Somebody type in the comments, C++ is a monster. Now on to C. C is the language that refuses to die. Now I know some of y'all are out here thinking, Automatic Addison, why are we still talking about C? That language is old. Let me ask you this. Do you want to build robots? Or do you want to stay in your little coding bubble talking about theory while real men are out here making six figures? Because if you want to do real robotics, microcontrollers, embedded systems, firmware, guess what? You need C. Are you working with Arduino? That's C. Are you working to develop real-time motor controllers? That's C. You need to write low-level firmware for a robot's hardware? That's C. C is fast. C is efficient. C is what runs real-time systems that keep robots from crashing into walls. A self-driving car doesn't have time for Python's lag when it's about to run over and plow through a pedestrian. It needs a hardware-level response. It needs C. Somebody type in the comments, C never dies. You don't skip C if you're dealing with robotics at the hardware level. You just don't. Now I know, some of you are thinking, but Automatic Addison, what about Rust? Isn't Rust the future of robotics? And look, I'll give credit where it's due. Rust is making moves. It's memory safe. It's got excellent concurrency. It's built for performance. I'll admit, Rust has potential, but, and this is a big but, Rust is not ready for mainstream robotics development. First of all, ROS2 barely supports Rust. 
Most robotics frameworks are still built for C++ and Python. And companies, they aren't hiring for Rust. You think Tesla, Boston Dynamics, or SpaceX are building the robots in Rust? Absolutely not. Right now, the industry runs on Python, C++, and C. Rust is a nice experiment for sure. But if you think learning Rust before mastering Python, C++, and C is a good idea, you deserve to be broke. Somebody type in the comments, I focus on winning, not trends. So remember, if you want to dominate robotics, this is your stack. Python for AI, automation, and robotics software. C++ for real-time performance, motion planning, and control systems. C for embedded systems, firmware, and low-level robotics. That's it. That's the winning formula. Everything else is for weaklings who waste time arguing instead of building robots, making money, and taking control of their lives. Somebody type in the comments, I'm building an empire. Somebody type in the comments, I dominate robotics. This isn't just about coding, this is about power. You either learn what matters or you stay broke and irrelevant while the winners take over. Keep building. Automatic Addison.